good evening. Yes, here we are. A brand new game. Um, and something a little bit different for me. I haven't done any sailing um, for a few months, probably more than a few months uh, now. And I've uh, got given the chance to uh, bring this to you this evening. Um, thanks to the publisher for that. And yeah, this is my first look at eSail, a soon-to-be-released new sailing simulator. Um, and so what we'll do is we'll go through some of the tutorials and have a look at it. Um, but yeah, graphically, I think this actually looks quite nice. So here's our little boat, uh, handily called, well, Simpson stuff. Got to be really, isn't it? Um, so yes, we'll have a look at this. We'll work through some of the tutorials. Got a copy to give away in the form of a competition uh, that will end in seven days time. So if you like the look of the game, uh, there'll be a question I'll give out a few times throughout the next hour. Um, and uh, yeah, there'll be a copy of the game to give away. Uh, good evening, Shemansky. Um, and thank you very much, Larwood, for the host. Much appreciated. So yes, we'll work our way through the tutorials. Really like the menu system in this. It's actually live sailing, which I've never clicked on. Um, in live sailing mode, you're subject to continually changing weather and sea conditions. The rate at which time passes will be controlled from settings. So quick start tutorial. There's challenges. There's various locations, but I haven't clicked on any of those yet. So we'll start with these. Um, we'll go through um, an overview of ESO, how it works for learning sailing challenges and free sailing. So we'll click on getting started. to learn yachting with eSail. Work through these tutorials to get the best from eSail. Click the next button. Okay, so we will go through it step by you step. You can also move forwards and backwards by using the keyboard controls shown below. Or use the two little arrows up here. You can change all the keyboard controls to suit you by pressing the key shown below. So why? I haven't done that. I haven't done any keyboard mapping at all with this game yet. E-Sail requires significant processing power. You can change the simulation quality and speed from the main menu, then settings. So, yeah, I could do that. So I've got it on the highest quality and in the 1080p, of course. This tutorial is part of Learn Yachting with e -Sail. Your current tutorial or challenge is shown in the status bar, bottom Just left. down here. You can work your way through the tutorials by sailing between the training boards. Or you can click the menu button below to access tutorials in any order. Now try turning the wheel using the keyboard controls below. So standard um, A and D, turn the wheel. We've got that little marker in the middle and shows me which way I'm pointing, which is handy. Or well, back to centre. Note the white mark on the wheel rim showing the central position. That'll be that there then. Now centre the wheel. So if I turn it that way, centre it using space. Turn on the engine. You can hover over most buttons to see a tooltip. Uh, engine throttle controls. You can drag the throttle up and down, or use the keyboard controls. Moving the throttle down below center engages reverse. You can use reverse to slow or stop the boat. It's not the greatest of audio for the engine noise. At the end of each tutorial, you will be given a compass bearing to the next training board. Just follow the bearing while steering around any land or other obstacles in the way. Okay. You have completed this tutorial. Now throttle forward and steer towards the next training buoy. Stop right next to it. So it got a hundred and eight degrees. We can actually put the arrow on that. So actually that locks out. Okay, that must lock ourselves in a four position. So it's that boy over here I'm guessing we're heading towards. Engine doesn't sound very healthy to me. But yeah, graphically, looks quite nice. It's starting to rain. It's 
sounds like a speedboat. It does a bit, yes. Right, so here's our next boy. In this tutorial, you will learn about some of the main controls you need to get started. Yeah, I might have crashed into the boy somewhat. The four mode buttons shown provide sailing, mooring, anchoring, and other modes. So sailing, mooring, anchoring, and other. Okay. Autopilot can be engaged by especially during training. Autopilot yeah, I might need it. Is it an auto park? On the current course, but it only works while there is some boat speed from sail or engine. Okay. Oh god. Okay, yeah, I think I'm scraping the side of the boat. Enables you to pause while still reading through training material. That's up here. Clicking forwards and backwards. It's very useful if things start happening too quickly during training. Yeah, like this bollard appearing out of nowhere. Oh boy. The buttons shown adjust your viewpoint. Try them now. Uh click and drag orbit around the boat. Okay. Oh I see. So that's just pain as the left mouse button does. And that's various views. Okay. Drag in the middle of the screen to look around you. If you press the left control button while dragging, you can orbit the boat. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to keep in one now position. Click on the smart view button to return to the cockpit. Right. That's fine, I'll sort of get that. Your the compass is switched off to avoid giving misleading information. You can quickly ah. turn it on again by clicking the smart view button. Oh my god, I'm going backwards. Forwards. Try out the other view button show. Yeah, it's fine. I'm okay with those. If you want to restart it or challenge, click the circular arrow above right. To view the chart and plot your position, click on the chart on the table in the cabin. There is a separate tutorial on navigation. Okay. Click the button below and have a look at boat help. You don't need to read all the information now. Just remember you can go back to help at any time. Yeah, that's fine. To see a planned view of your boat and surrounds, click the button show. Position the plan view by dragging. You can center the plan on the boat using the button above the zoom button. Okay, yeah, that's where we are. Okay. That's quite cool. You have completed this tutorial. Now find the next training point for Know Your Boat Challenge Beginners. Uh, so down there then. Wow, okay, but don't look down this side of the boat is all I can say there because there's going to be a gouge where all the paint was. <laughs> right. Oh god, it's throttled up for me. Well, looks like the previous guy didn't quite make it down here. So yeah, these tutorials could be um, really handy. So give it a few more minutes and I'll give out the question um, to win a copy of, um, of eSale. Uh, competition will end next Saturday. So yeah, this boat... Yeah, he obviously ran aground a bit there, didn't he? Oh, God. Right. Right, so here's our next training session. Managed to get there. I'm sure, it's not going to get me to go down there for the next one after this. I hope not, anyway. In this timed challenge, click on the question marks to identify parts of your e-sail boat. Oh God! Use the orbit control and drag on the screen to look around. Click next to start. The port side of the boat. Uh. That's the left side of the boat when looking forward. Got to use the orbit to look around. Hey, what? Well, that's his question mark, surely. 
that one? The starboard side of the boat. Well, that's that one. The bow. You will need to orbit to see this one. Oh. Hint, the bow is at the front of the boat. Yep. Okay. What the? That bit. It's got to be down there. There. Oh my good god. Yeah, I'm crashing into things. How do I get to the outside view of the bow again? It's got to be that one, isn't it? But I can't go to the... Okay. No, nope. left tab, wouldn't it? Hang on, hang on, I've got this. <laughs> oh my good god. Alright, alright, okay. I'm, um... Yeah, I can't do that one. How do I? I can't. It's, it's pivoting around the back of the boat. I can't pivot to the front of the boat. Oh, this is going to go horribly wrong, isn't it? It's that down there. But it's not letting me pivot around any other point other than this one. I can't do that. just won't let me, will it? Oh, hang on. Can I go under? Okay, I'm drowning now. No, it's actually not letting me click on the front of the boat. Or pivot to the front of the boat. That. That's what I've got to click on, but I can't. I click on the back. The helm. Hint. The helm is used to the chart table. Hint. Where you put forward starboard jammers. Hint. Look for four handles near a winch. The keel. Hint. Helps keep the boat stable and upright. Well, that's got to be down here, then, isn't it? I can't see any other. Keep the boat stable and upright. Well, this keel's in the middle of the ship. Down the bottom, though. Unless I've got to go underneath. It's there. That's the bit. I can't actually click down there. It won't let me go underwater. It is underwater. Yeah, it does look a real dumb camera angle. The game is in uh, beta still. But that's the bit I need to click on, is under there. But it's not letting me actually get... Oh, God. He pointed on the rudder. Yeah, I know, the keyboard's actually under here somewhere. But it's not, I can't get to a viewpoint where I can turn the engine off. Where I can get to an angle where I can actually see it. So I can zoom out. But it's not letting me, I'm trying to left shift again. Left tab again. Oh, that's our steering. The keel's the long bit that runs down the middle of the boat, isn't it? Um, but it's not... I can't get to any viewpoint where I can see it. I saw it before, did I? I can't get... Now, I can spin completely upside down here, but I can't do it from outside the boat where I want to it's not letting me actually go down our personal disagreement with the term beta test new games which value really um yeah this is pretty close to release apparently 
Uh, Captain Chaos, thanks very much for the host. Uh, much appreciated. So yeah, I can always see that I can't complete this because I can't aft get. Port winch. Hey. Hint. Aft is at or to walk the forestay. Hint. The jib sail rolls up around the forestay. Oh, that's got to go up here somewhere, isn't it? Why did it just skip that one then? Um, the forestay. The jib power jump around the forestay. It's got to be here. Jib cell rolls up around the four stage. So there's the jib. So it's got to be what this something here, isn't it? But it's not letting me. I can only pivot around this one point. There's no, like, um, free look, it seems. Uh, Nahos, thanks very much for the host. Cheers for that. Oh, hang on, there is a different view here. But there's nothing here. I think it gives me a certain amount of time and then it goes, you dimwit, um, I'll just skip it. And then move on. No, the same in front of the mast. Yeah, but I can't get up there to look at it. <laughs> I can't change the view to be able to go forward um, to look at the mast. Uh, okay, what are those two lots? Yeah, my view positions are really fixed. I can zoom forward like that, I suppose, but that's as far as I can go. And that's just zooming. Yeah, exactly, and there's no question mark. There's nothing for me to actually click on to go, yeah, that's the thing you're looking for. So eventually it's going to time out, isn't it? And go, look, you shouldn't be anywhere near any sort of watercraft. Um, because you clearly don't know one side of a boat from the other. Uh, so let's move on. There's nothing. There's no question marks for me to click on. I've clicked on them, all of them. The jib cell rolls up around the four states. Yeah, it's in front of the mast. But I can't... I, I only rotate around this point. Uh, Captain Chaos, thanks very much for the subscription. Uh, much appreciated, sir. Uh, hopefully catch you later on for a bit of uh, tabletop simulator. Um, yeah. Remember, full descriptions of parts of your e-sail boat can be found under help. Now find the training boy for navigation. Uh, right, 85 degrees. So it's going to be back out there somewhere, isn't it? Uh, right, let's turn the engine back on then. Wow, new record, yeah. The world's slowest person. Hang on, do you say 85 degrees? Yeah, I know I changed this mini eyeball. Why well, have got to go back that way then? Coming around. Surely it's not making me go down there. It's got to be back out, isn't it? It's not, I'm not going to go through that in there, am I? No, I'm not going to go through there. So I've got to go out and round. Okay. Hello, Liam. Right, so let's go back out and go round here. Yeah, that wasn't exactly the easiest thing, was it? That sort of uh, clicking on things challenge. In fact, I didn't know where most of the things were that I was supposed to be clicking on, but there should be a... Um, uh, there should have been a question mark there. But hey, it's a learning curve. Yeah, cheers for that chaos. Uh, there's a new thing now being implemented by Amazon as well. They will send you a message reminding you uh, when your subscription has run out. So you'll get an email from Amazon going, the person you subscribe to on Twitch, uh, your subscription's run out, would you like to resubscribe? They won't actually resubscribe, but they'll remind you that it's run out. So that's quite useful. Well, for me anyway. Right, so you've got to come round here then. And um, we've got to head for 85 degrees. <laughs> now to watch Steve try to do the next thing. Yeah, the next thing is navigation. Yeah, you're definitely not as old as Blinky Chaos. That is absolutely a thing. 
Yeah, I'm no good at navigation when I'm in a plane. Uh, there have been a number of times doing flights in that I've landed at the wrong airport. Um, so trying to get this thing to um, navigate between point A and point B could be interesting. But as far as the graphics are concerned for the game, I actually quite like it. Uh, it's going to be really scary when I've got to go to get sails up. Uh, right, let me just bring up while I'm sailing um, the question. Bear with me. Okay, so the question. If you want to win a copy of eSale, if you want to get a copy of this, you've got until next Saturday. Um, what I'd like you to do in order to win a copy, the easiest way uh, for me, I think, is to contact me through the Google Plus page. Um, a link will be up on screen any second now. Uh, if I can find it. There we go. Um, contact me for the Google Plus page if you want to win a copy of eSale and answer the following question. And the closest answer to the one deemed by the publisher to be the correct answer uh, will win a copy. Well, I'm just trying to sail in a straight line. Um, the question is, how many ropes are there on a sailing boat? How many ropes are there on a sailing boat? So, send me a message through Google+. Plus. Link on the, in the chat is there. Um, contact me through Google+, Plus with your answer to how many ropes are there on a sailing boat. Competition will close next Saturday. Yes, a number, a quantity. How many ropes are there? Uh, on a sailing boat. Competition will end next Saturday at 7pm and I'll announce the winner on next Saturday's stream. So I'm guessing this is the right way now. This is the next buoy. It's supposed to be heading towards. So it's roughly in the right place. More than around a car. Well, it depends on what car you've got, Lyle. You might have a car covered in rope. Which type of sailing boat? That? Well, I'm guessing from the fact that it's this boat we're training in um, I would say this type of sailing boat but the, the question from the publisher was how many ropes are there on a sailing boat and they didn't specify what type in this module you'll learn how to raise the mainsail start the engine it's okay I've just Look stopped around. it dragging on the screen to check there are no boats close to you. You can recenter the view using the smart view button. Nope, there are no boats close to me. That's good because they'd be in severe danger if they were. Check the wind indicator at the bottom of the screen. The small arrow shows where the wind is coming from. So that's down here. To the boat. Okay. Ideally, you want to steer a course which keeps the wind 10 to 20 degrees off the bounds. Well, it's currently 13. Just enough speed to maintain control. This keeps the boom from being directly overhead and allows a good view of the sail as you hoist. Okay. Push the throttle forward and turn the bow towards the wind. So turn the wheel towards the wind indicator arrow. Uh, I'm going to say 1,970. Oh, sorry. Yeah, we were in. Oh, never mind. What if your capsize going around the corner? <laughs> okay, so sail into the wind. Once you are happy with the boat direction, now select sailing. Oh god. What? Uh really? That's gonna be a thing, is it? Control, roll lines, close up, jammer, okay. Uh, open, okay. Oh, it's a magic hand doing something. Yeah, I've done that. Now what? Click on the jammer, but I did that. Open main seat. Uh, okay. Oh, 
up and kick a jammer. For Port Winch now. Into Halyard. Uh, okay. Well, it's probably manual labour involved. This seems a lot of work. Yeah, there's no option to turn the engine noise down and the voice up. Is it actually going up? Oh yeah, it is, slowly. Why don't I just keep the motor on? We'll get there eventually. Is that not the idea of sailing? So how would you do this with a boat without a motor? Oh, well, we've definitely got some sailing action, some sailing up action going on here. What is this supposed to be navigation one I'm doing now? Anyway, unless I went to the wrong boy. Yeah, see you, Liam. You don't know how much work it is to prepare a real-life sailboat. Don't bother, just get one with an engine. Get in, turn the key, go. Simple. Shimansky, by the way, loves you watching, uh, does sail in real life. As well as, you know, extreme bungee jumping and snowboarding and swims with piranha. He's a one-armed juggler and everything, you know, he does it all. Okay. Time I get the sail up, I'm going to be at my destination. <laughs> You're not a one arm juggler. Okay. You can juggle one arm behind your back. This is definitely a long winded process. I am winching, I'm pulling down on the on the arrow thing. I could use a shortcut. There's a shortcut here, Vel. No, wait, no, definitely winch. Okay, the Wayne's still not got any further. Try using the winch handle. Right. Well, that should be when the wires don't go any further. Select the winch handle and use it to winch up the sail. Okay, winch handle, uh, winch handle. Oh, I've got to do the thing again now. Right, let's, let's use the L. Winch button. And then the down arrow, okay. Takes a handle off. You put it back there, that's where the handle goes. Alright. Jammer button, close, main sheet jammer. Okay. Click on the control lines button and select the main sheet. Control lines, uh, main sheet. What? I'd have missed that. I've even chat. Tighten the main sheet so the boom comes back to the centre of the boat. If necessary, put on the winch handle and pull down the handle drag spot. What? That just means nothing to me. Let's go out. Oh god, there's a boat. Okay, I think I did that. Yeah, I don't think I'll use a topping lift. I, I had one once and the leg fell off. I will close. Not 
Right, close the clicking strap jam up and tighten the kicking strap. So, uh, close. But I haven't got the clicking strap. Is it this one? Uh, close kicker jammer. Okay. Right. Really? Okay. Oh, this is going to be dangerous. Okay. Yeah, just aim straight towards this little guy out here. Okay, 191 degrees. Uh, you should have closed the jammy base to your sheet in. Well, yeah, this is all new to me. I do truck sims. <laughs> it's change gear and pick up loads. Uh, 190 something, so it's going to be down there, isn't it? Use more throttle if you want to go quicker. The thing's flat out. I can't go any faster, Captain. <laughs> I'm giving it all she's got. <laughs> oh, 189, the next point. Okay. I think I did them out of order. I think the next one should have been navigation. But I clicked on the, the saily, uh, winchy, risey thing. Technical term. Um, first. Uh, if you have just joined, welcome. This is a first look at eSail, a soon-to-be-released uh, sailing simulator. Um which I've been given by the publisher to uh, to have a look at basically this evening um, and so far yeah for someone that doesn't sail I've managed not to crash yet uh, always a plus <laughs> and I haven't capsized I'm probably going the wrong direction now like 210 yeah I am let's go that way a little bit 189 so it's going to be over there somewhere we're looking for a boy um, and that's what she said yeah exactly So we'll click on the next one. Adjusting the mainsail. Mm, it could be interesting. I don't know how far away I've actually got from the next uh, the next thing, but oh god, that's a thing. Um, nav lights. Um, so that's where I can sail around. How did I do that? Oh, it's the table I clicked on. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's quite clever. So yeah, I can click on the little plan up here, which shows where I am. Heading back inland now. Going away from where I should be going, because it's over here somewhere. 189 degrees, roughly. So I'll get rid of that. So it's supposed to be a realistic sailing simulator. There is a live sailing version. Where I'm, I should imagine the, the actual conditions... Uh, match real life conditions. I'm like, not 100% sure on that. And so far, as far as I can tell, there's only this one boat, ship, yacht, whatever it's called, um, that you can actually sail. The literally is all I've done so far is what you've seen this evening. Uh, and I spent five minutes in it the other day just trying to work out roughly what I was supposed to do. But this is the furthest I've got in the game by a, a long shot. So we've got to find these boys to uh, give us our next missions. Compass bearing to the next boy, 186 degrees now. So that's changing as I get away from it. So, so far we haven't actually done anything without the engine being on. So more like a power sailing um, simulator so far. Uh, Dave the Helicopter, thanks very much for the follow. What a cool name you've got, sir. Thank you very much. I do appreciate that. Uh, my normal scream, screaming, streaming schedule um, is um, obviously this evening we'll be doing this for an hour or so and then going to be jumping on doing some tabletop simulator 
uh, where we'll have a, maybe a game of uh, Cards Against Humanity, which is what we played last week, which is absolutely hilarious. Uh, tomorrow night, um, I stream uh, Euro Truck Simulator 2 uh, multiplayer, um, where we have a bit of a convoy. Um, starting at 7 p.m. UK time, and tomorrow um, starting in Kiel, and we all drive the same trucks and all grab the same load, um, and yeah, have a bit of fun for a couple of hours on a Sunday night. So I do recommend joining us there, uh, either to watch or to join in. Details of um, the truck and details of the stream, the start location, will be on the Discord server, um, which I can hopefully link in. If I've got it, yeah, I have. There you go. So join us on Discord, and details of tomorrow night's truck sim stream will be there. And um, didn't stream last night, unfortunately, but normally do stream Friday, Saturday, and Sunday nights. So while you're there, join us in Discord. A brilliant community there building up in Discord. Also got a really, really good Google Plus community going as well, um, which I can recommend jumping in with as well. Yeah, quite liking this, relaxing. So it isn't uh, released yet. I can see our target over there. So we are getting closer to it. So yet to be released. Not sure of, of an exact release date yet from the publisher. Which is the only contact to me a few days ago. Asked me if I'd like to give the game a go. And I did say I'd stream it. And then we're putting this out on YouTube as well. Yeah, I like it graphically. Looks actually quite nice. Certainly the wave effects and stuff. And um, yeah, does it nice. It'd be nice to get rid of that engine and actually start doing some sailing if I've got that um, capability in me. So there's our little boy. Oh, buoy. We're heading towards down there. So 186 degrees. Roughly 189 degrees. So we are heading directly towards it, which I'm bound to crash into as I did with the first couple. We haven't actually learned how to put down the anchor yet. Yeah, having never actually been on one of these boats in real life, um, don't know how this um, uh, fares against something um, in reality. But from a simulation point of view, I think it's quite good. So now heading directly towards the buoy uh, that we're bound to crash into. All the winchy, ropey things actually quite well explained uh, compared to the other sailing simulator that I've played, um, where you weren't giving any information about what the ropes did and sort of step-by-step -step instructions. I quite like that. I'm never going to remember what they all did and in what order I've got to do them. Um, that is not going to be a thing. <laughs> But I should imagine a bit of time, and obviously you could work through these as well. You could go through them again and again and again. Right, so here's our next, um, hopefully the right one. So this should be how to adjust the mainsail. It's like a, a parking sensor. <laughs> depending on the wind direction and the direction you want to go. Click pause if you need time to read. Uh, no, Before fine. proceeding oh, with this tutorial, you need to be familiar with the best sail angles for different points of sail. There are many good references on the internet and elsewhere. Oh yeah, I'll just come out of the game now and go and Google them, shall I? <laughs> what the? Throughout this tutorial, you may need to use some engine, as the mainsail will tend to pull the bow towards the wind. Okay. So you've got a power sail. All right, okay. The mainsail should already be up. See the earlier tutorial. If not, raise the mainsail now. Uh, I'm not sure if it's up. Because I can't see from this angle. We haven't rigged yet. What? I haven't done much yet. Uh, is it up? I'm guessing it's not. But I pulled it up. I'm sure I did. I'm sure I pulled the... That's what the last thing was. I didn't drop back down again, did I? Okay, so how do I raise the freaking mainsail? Uh, open mainsail jammer. And then... Mainsail hanger. Yeah, it's definitely not up, is it? Because that's just gone, wow. 
Okay. I've closed the wrong jammer. Well, I don't know. Okay, well, I'll close it then. Close honey eye jam. Right, so it's this one. Kicker jammer, reef jammer. That's reef jammer. It's got to be this one. Um, self, don't know because there's an engine there. Is it right? Okay. Well, the la means I've got a sail back to that last one then, because I, I put the sail up in the last one. Right. You have to close it when it's up. Go ahead to win before pulling it up. Yeah, but I want to put it up first. Open the handy eye. It's got to be that in there. So click at the click. Winch. And what does that do? Right. Okay. Well, it's raising something now. Look, there we go. I worked it out. Yeah, I will in a minute. Hang on. There. Uh, right. So now steer the boat so that the wind is off your starboard beam. Steer until the wind indicator arrow is at 90 degrees to the back. The starboard's left in it. Okay. Well, I'm steering. There is some steering going on. Still some steering going on. Well, I managed to get a sail up. I worked that bit out on my own. I'm quite impressed with that myself. Well, I'm going to have to put some engine on, aren't I? Oh my god. Right, but if I keep with that at 90 degrees, then I'm just going to go straight into the flipping. It's got to mean the other way, isn't it? When the Whoa! Engage the autopilot. You're going to let the sail out. So it's at a better angle for sailing with the wind off the beam. Select the main sheet. Okay. How do I do that? Here. Uh, no, that one. Main sheet. There we go. Wrap the main sheet around the winch. That's the winch button, then third button from the top. That one. The friction, let out the main sheet a little, and the boom will swing out. Drag Release. up on the drag spot under the hands, or use the keyboard controls. Okay, done that a little bit. If you zoom out, then look up, you will see the telltales. If they are flying horizontally, then the sail is at the best angle. Which they're not. You can also click on the button show to see the telltales. The Those are the jammer. Okay. Change the mainsail. Uh. <laughs> it lowered. <laughs> um, okay. The boat should start to pick up speed. Keep gradually releasing the main sheet. At some point, the boom will be too far out the boat will start slowing down again. A boom angle of about 45 degrees to the boat should be about right with the wind on the beam. Right, so I've got to keep letting it out. I can't let it out, it's got to let it back in, surely. I'm going to... 
because I'm not sailing the wind angle sheet in completely. Okay, but it's not telling me to do that, is it? Now bring the boom in again. Firstly, close the main sheet jammer. Uh, close main sheet jammer. Put on the winch handle. Turn the winch handle to bring in the main saw. Finally, remove the winch handle. Right, so that's out. Oh, hang on, they're picking up speed there. You have completed this tutorial. Sail or motor to the next training boy for unfurling and adjusting the jib. What? Uh, okay, so 302 degrees. Well, I'm actually sailing now. Got no motor running. I'm guessing it's this one over here. Can we make it without the motor running? That's the question. Well, with a little bit of help from Shemansky there, I actually managed to do it. Stopping now could be interesting. I think I need to use the engine to get myself to stop. Reversing beacon is on. In this tutorial, you will learn how to unfurl and adjust the gear. For the jib, you will use the shields to pull the sail out on either side. Remember to use the pause button if you need more reading time. You steer the boat on a course of about 330 degrees, so the wind is coming over the starboard bow. Okay, well, I was trying not to crash then, but okay. You want me on 330 degrees, you're responsible when I hit something. Just saying. Engage the autopilot. Well, I can't, so I'm on 330. Oh my god. Okay, all right, right, there we go, this way. Now engage Click autopilot. The port witch. Okay. First, you will need to release the furling line. Oh, of course I do. Open the furling line jammer, which will allow the whole jib to Oh, God, unfurl. no, not that one. No, no, I don't want to do that. Get your hands, get your hands off my thing. There. Now select the port jib sheet. Uh, okay. Wrap the jib sheet around the witch. That's the winch button, then the third button from the top. Okay. Pull the jib sheet by dragging down on the drag spot. Uh, well, that's hell. I'm guessing I've done now that. Jam the jib oh. sheet using the self tailing mechanism. Click the winch button, then the second button from the top. Now turn further away from the wind, so the wind is coming over your starboard beam. Um. Did, 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 okay. Well, I'm surely going to crash into the flipping. That way, or should we go the other way? I should go the other way, doesn't that? I guess he wants me to go this way. Engage the autopilot. Click on the button shown to see the telltales. Uh, that one down there. You will need to let the jib out a little. To release the jib sheet, take the sheet off the self-tailing mechanism so it's wrapped around the winch. Third one down there. The winch button, then the third button from the top. I'm learning. Now drag up on the drag spot until the jib telltales are roughly horizontal. Right, so if I keep that open.
Yeah, we said not. But okay. Jam the jib sheet into the self tailing mechanism when the sail is as you want it. Click on the winch button and then the second button from the top. Okay. You have completed this tutorial. Sail or motor to the next training boy for tacking mm -hmm. and jiving. But I still don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> um, okay, so we've got to go 148 now. Capsize, capsize. Okay, is it this one here then? In this tutorial, you will learn how to tack and jibe safely. Yeah, you want to bet. We will start with a tack. Before continuing, make sure your mainsail is up and jib is out. That, uh, I think that's correct. Steer a course so that you are close hauled on a heading of 300 degrees. Yeah, again, easier said than done. Oh, even says on the board, I've just spotted that. I've got no idea, Shimansky. Yeah, I'm going to have to put the engine back on now, aren't I? So 300 degrees, engine back off. Engage the autopilot. Okay. Make sure both crew members are at the aft winches. You can click a winch twice to summon a crew member. Okay, they're both there. Ensure that both jib sheets are wrapped around the winches, but are not jammed by the self-tailing mechanisms. Do what now? Um, so third one down, that, that one. And third one down, that one. Okay. Check there are no boats close by, which may be in your path when you steer to starboard. Uh, there's nothing around that I'm likely to crash into, but who knows. To tack, you will be turning the bow through the wind. Releasing the port jib sheet and taking in the starboard jib sheet. In really? real life, you would need to tell the crew when to act. Steer oh. to starboard until the wind is 35 to 40 degrees off your port bow. As the bow comes through the wind, start pulling the starboard jib sheet. The crew member on the port winch will release and control the port jib sheet as long as it isn't jammed. Right. So I didn't get that. Come through the wind, pull, start pulling the starboard jib sheet. So that one. Yeah, that's just slowing me down. Uh, okay, let's just keep on next one. Here. Tacked, you may find it easier to engage the autopilot. The starboard crew member can now adjust their jib sheet if necessary. Really? Often in real life, the crew member releasing their sheet will take the sheet off the winch completely. If you do take the sheet off the winch, you still need to control it by maintaining a little tension. Yeah. Otherwise, the line will end up wrapped all around the rigging. When jibing, the mainsail will be fully powered up, so needs to be controlled by bringing the boom into the middle of the boat first. The main sheet traveller should be centred and secure. Traveller adjustment is not available on this version of ESAP. Try and maintain speed as the stern comes through the wind to reduce sudden heeling with the steering pulling to the windward. Be ready to steer with opposite lock and to ease the main sheet rapidly to keep control of the boat. Well, you can't be. Really? Sorry, what? Reefing? Okay. Um, at 90. At 90. I still don't get. But, okay. We'll, um, we'll head for the next one.
So I'm guessing it's over here. There's a game there. I'm actually quite liking it. It's not a very beginner friendly game. I think it's designed for people that sail already. Um, as opposed to people that don't sail. So I think it's designed with a bit of a basic... So you have a basic knowledge of how to sail a boat. Um, but I think going through those tutorials a few times, I think you would um, get to learn how to do it. Because they are fairly simple and you could just go sort of step by step. I quite like that. So we'll go to the next one. Okay, I'll cut the engine. The thing is, it actually lets you get through them without doing it. That's why I crash in now to the, uh, the starboard side of the boat, into the buoy. It's like a reversing sensor on a car. Too much sail area causes excessive healing, which is uncomfortable, unsafe, and reduces the boat's speed. Appropriate reefing reduces the sail area to get the best performance from your e-sail boat. In this tutorial, you will reef the sails to about two-thirds of their normal size, suitable for moderate wind speeds. You will do this by partially furling in the jib and using the first reefing line on the mainsail. Before going any further, make sure that the mainsail is fully raised and the jib is fully out. Both are those things, I think. Steer a course so that the bow is 10 to 20 degrees away from the wind. Uh, which is about past 11. That's the wind speed, isn't it? Duh. I'm going to crash into that. Either way, I'm going to crash into something. I turn around here. And now I have flat wind, don't I? So let's start the engine up. Make sure you have a little boat speed by using the engine if necessary, then engage the autopilot. On the port aft winch, make sure the furling line jammer is closed. Okay. Uh, that one, innit? Close furling line jammer. Okay. Now select the jib furling line and haul in until the jib is about two-thirds of its full size. You can orbit the boat while hauling to get a better view. Once you're happy with the size of the jib, jam the working jib sheet using the self-tailing mechanism. I want to zoom out. I can't actually see the... I want to zoom out. I can't actually navigate round the mainsail to be able to see the <clears throat> okay that's a thing <laughs> yeah I, I was waiting for that Larwood um, let's help with the size of your jib never jam the working jib sheet using the self thingy mechanism okay and that's the second one in it now bring both crew members to the forward winches Make sure the main sheet and kicking strap jammers are open, so the boom can move freely. Uh, main sheet jammer are open. And kick a, open kicking jammer, okay. Done that. Open the main sheet jammer. Oh, it's open. Now check that the topping lift is tight and jammed. Uh, what now? How do I do that? 
This one. Topping lift. So pull it tight. I'm guessing. Okay. Lock it. Pick up the mainsail halyard. Um, okay. Put a turn around the forward port winch. Forward port winch. Open the halyard jammer. Hang on. the mainsail about halfway down the mast. Um okay. Lots of doing and undoing of ropes going on here and I don't know what I'm doing. I'll say I've done that. Now pull reef in line one on the forward starboard winch. Keep hauling until the line stops moving. Okay. Briefing line one. Put some engine power to it. Okay, keep hauling until the thing stops moving. Don't stop. Yeah, okay. Uh reefing line one. That's what I've just done that. I've actually got to put it on the thingy now, haven't I? How do I... No. Reefing line one. No, that was right. So how do I click on it to pull it? I can't. Yeah, I know that. I'm worried about which line I'm clicking at the moment. So, but how can I... Reefing line one. I've done... Oh, they're both moving around. Ah, here we go. Okay. Now pull the mainsail halyard. Haul until the line stops moving, and you get a message from the crew saying another line is preventing further movement. At this point, the mainsail should be about two thirds of its normal area. Yeah, I don't know what I did there either. The yellow first reefing line is stopping the mainsail going any higher. Now you can close the halyard, main sheet and kicker jammers, and tighten the main sheet and kicking strap. Oh, can I now? You reckon, do you? Okay, close the main sheet kicker jammer. Yeah, I know exactly what that is. Um, then close the halyard jammer and tighten the main sheet kicking strap. What? What? Um. Okay. Yeah, we'll say I've done that. If you need to further shorten the sail, fill the jib so that it's one third of its normal size, and use reefing line two to reduce the mainsail even further. Right. You have completed this tutorial. Motor or sail to the next training boy for lowering the sails. But I may have completed it. I'm not got a clue what I'm doing with it. Um, but we'll go to the next one. So 227. I've got the autopilots on. Okay, it won't turn. The autopilot isn't on. But I can't turn. I'm guessing there's something here now stopping me turning, isn't there?
The yeah, autopilot is not engaged. Yeah, I can't turn the boat. Oh no. I can turn right. I can't turn left. Okay, we'll go right then. I didn't want to go left anyway. I don't like left. So we'll go all the way around here to the right. Oh, now I can turn. Don't forget, I've got a copy of this game to give away. Um, with a simple question. Uh, where am I going? 2.14. So over there. So it must be that one there. Not an ambi turner. Yeah, exactly. Uh, simple question is... How many ropes are there on a sailing boat? How many ropes are there on a sailing boat? Closest to the correct answer, deemed to be uh, correct by the publisher, uh, will win a copy of eSale. Competition will close next Saturday, so one week from today, the 10th of March at 7 pm UK time. To uh, send me your answer, do so via the Google Plus page if you would. So jump over to Google+, Plus. there's a competition section on Google+, Plus, um, or ideally PM me um, through Google+, Plus and let me have your answer, and there is a link to the Google+, Plus page. So join the Google+, Plus community while you're there, a brilliant community over there on G+, and uh, send me a direct message with how many ropes are there on a sailing boat. Close this answer. Will win a copy of e sail of this very game. In this tutorial, you will furl the jib and lower the mainsail. How, when, and where you lower your sail will depend on the number of factors. Oops. So this tutorial will just take you through a typical scenario. Yeah. Start the engine. I've just turned it off. Hang on, I'm just sort of gouging the paintbrush on the side of the boat in a minute. Hang on. This boat's going to be slightly damaged when I finish with it. Oh, God. Capsize. No, not quite. Once your bow is 10 to 20 degrees away from the wind, engage the up bring both crew members to the aft winches. Okay. Done that. Make sure the starboard jib sheet is wrapped around the winch, but not jammed. Okay. Jib sheet. No. Oh, I'll start with this one. Okay. Um, so it's time with jib sheet. So wrapped around but not jam. That's the second one then. Okay. Now select the furling line and pull. On a wheel boat, you will want to control both of the jib sheets. Keep hold of them to stop them getting wrapped around the rigging. Yeah, that's not a good thing, probably. And then pull. Okay, I've just done that. Jib, furling line. Uh, furling line. And pull. Okay. I've done that. Okay, jib phone line. I'm pulling the phoning line. The jib is firm. Jam both jib sheets to keep them secure. If necessary, add a little power to keep some boat speed. A speed of around one knot should be fine. Okay. To lower the mainsail, firstly bring both crew members to the forward winches. Okay, crew members, go to forward winches now. That's too fast. Open the kicking strap and main sheet jammers. Okay, yeah, I knew what that was. Uh, open main sheet jammer. 
and then open kicker jammer. Why does it think it's going to force throttle? I don't want full throttle. Um, what? Topping lift. Topping lift. So it's tight. Well, I'm guessing it is because it's not letting me pull it in any further than that. So jam the topping lift. Uh, I'll open top lift jammer. Okay. Gone to flipping full throttle again. Stop doing that. Wrap the halyard around the winch, then open the halyard jam. Stop going to full. Okay, turn the engine off. Open the halyard around the winch and open the halyard jam. Uh, actually, halyard. Okay. Around the winch. Okay, then open the halyard jammer. The halyard may need to be pulled tight to free the jammer. Lower the mainsail by letting out the halyard under control, so drag up on the drag spot. In real life, the mainsail will normally need some manual help to bring it down. But... Okay. Oh, there you go, that came down then. <laughs> Close the main sheet jammer and center the boom. Motor to the next tutorial for anchoring. Close main sheet jammer, jammer, and center the boom. How do I how do I do that? That was a thing, wasn't it? I'm gonna center the boom. That was a. Um, I can't remember. I did that. It was a something. But we'll come. We'll go to the next heading of two oh seven, and then we might make it make this the final thing as it's anchoring. And then we'll end it there. If we can actually manage to anchor, I'm guessing it's a case of coming to a stop and then um, lowering the anchor. One would have hoped. And then we'll take a couple of minute break. And then um, I was going to come back with some uh, tabletop simulator. But um, may not. As it only seems like there's one person uh, waiting to play tabletop. So uh, may not do that. Okay, so we head ourselves in then. Attempt to anchor. Really like the tutorials, like how simple they actually seem to be. And I think if I worked through them again, I would understand it a bit more. And obviously, without having the pressure of uh, streaming at the same time and having to re chat and stuff, well, there's not a bit of a lot. You will learn how to anchor securely. Before anchoring, check the depth, the position of other boats and hazards all around your chosen spot, allowing for swing room. Oh, you've got to allow for swing room. Before continuing, make sure your sails are down and the engine is turned off. Yep, that is definitely the case. If at any time the anchor chain simulation has a problem, you can reset it from settings. Using the orbit button, check the condition of the seabed. It's wet. Select anchoring mode. That's this one down here then. Learning anchor in high wave conditions is likely to break the anchor simulation continue. Yes. The anchoring panel can be controlled using special keyboard controls that are different to the other panels. See the keyboard controls menu. Click the close up button on the anchoring panel. If the anchor compartment is closed, open it by clicking the fourth button on the anchor panel. Your reset oh, there it is, has an electric windlass, making it easy to extend and retract the anchor chain. 
lower the anchor until it is hanging just above the surface of the water by clicking and holding the down arrow. Okay, guys. I lower it so it's hanging just by the surface of the water and I didn't read that. Always read the instructions. I'll, I'll put it back up again. I like it now. Right. Okay. Return to the boat cockpit view. Having made sure there are no other boats in the way, turn the boat so that the bow is into the wind. Keep your speed to the minimum and keep watching the deck. Motor upwind about three boat lengths, so you're well away from the training point. Make sure your bow is steady into the wind, then stop the boat, but keep the engine running. Okay, so almost done that. Use the close up button to toggle between views as required. You should also use the reverse view to check nothing is in your way. Hi Jacob. As you begin drifting back, start dropping the anchor. After about 10 meters of chain is up, Okay. Stop when you have about 20 meters of chain out. A scope of four. 20 meters of chain. That's a lot of chain. Keeps putting the throttle back into full. Allow the boat to drift back. You can tell if the anchor is holding by how taut the chain is. How will I know that? Oh, here, I suppose. There. It's quite slack at the moment. There's definitely a bit of a slack chain going on there. If the anchor appears to be set, give a burst of power in reverse. You should see a small backwards movement, then the speed should drop to close to zero. If you need to, put down more chain until the anchor is holding firm. Using the orbit button, you can look under the boat. Depending on your settings, you may see all of the anchor chain or just the top few meters. Go to settings if you wish to change this behavior. To make sure the anchor is holding, establish at least two transits at different angles. A transit is where you line up two distinctive points on the land, one near and one far. Keep an eye on the transit alignment to make sure the anchor is not dragging. Do what now? Now we will raise the anchor. Slowly motor forwards towards the anchor while retracting the chain. Don't overrun the chain, otherwise it might end up around the propeller. <laughs> Time for dinner, says Jacob.
You don't want to run over your own anchor chain, do you, really? this tutorial. Motor to the next tutorial for the sail hoisting challenge. Well, we've done that already. Um, so what I'll do is after quite uh, an intensive look um, at this game uh, we will call it a day there. Um, it's something I'll come back to because there are a number of options um, as far as the game's concerned um, with um, lots of tutorials and challenges um, I haven't done the Know Your Boat Challenge. I should have done that first. Um, use charting tools, um, steering challenges, into the wind challenges, controlling lines. We've done some of them. Look, we did them slightly out of order, um, but haven't done them all. Um, and there is live sailing. In live sailing mode, you're subject to continually changing weather and sea conditions. The rate at which time passes can be controlled from settings. So I can actually click on live sailing and have a quick look at that before we um, disappear. Weather forecast can be heard on the hour on VHF. Okay, so we've got a radio now. It's looking very, very gloomy out there, isn't it? So yeah, there's the map of the world. All the area we've got to work with. And yeah, I really, really like it. Um, I think it's a really great game. It's got a lot of potential. So it's not been released yet. Um... But um, soon it will be. Don't forget to enter the competition. Contact me through Google+. Plus, uh, a link to which I will put in the chat now. Uh, there we go. So send me a message through Google+. Plus. So direct message me if you can. Or PM me uh, through Google+. Plus with your answer to the following question. How many ropes are there on a sailing boat? Steam key for the best answer. So the answer will be given by uh, the publishers. Competition will end next Saturday, the 10th of March at 7pm. Send me a message through Google+. Plus. How many ropes are there on a sailing boat? And you can win a copy of this, what I think could be a really, really good sailing game. So there we go. We're going to leave that there. I'm going to take a five minute break. I'm going to restart the stream. Uh, so I'm going to stop streaming, take a five minute break, come back, restart. And we're going to do some tabletop simulator, uh, a bit of cards against humanity. Um, something a bit of fun then for the next um, next hour or so, next couple of hours. So please do stick around. Uh, it'll only be a couple of minutes because um, we'll split the streams and we'll come back and do some tabletop simulator. Don't forget, if you're not going to stick around for tabletop, tomorrow night, 7 p.m. Sunday night, uh, we do some trucking, some multiplayer trucking in Euro Truck, um, where myself and a number of others from the Discord and Google Plus community have been doing a tour around the outside of the ETS2 map. Started off in Brest in France, worked around through Italy, um, up through the uh, eastern side of the map. Uh, we're now in Kiel and we got here back down through France again. Um, carrying on that tomorrow night, we're all driving the same truck. Um, we're all driving uh, using the same trailer each time. So really, really good fun on a Sunday night. So do please join me for that 7 p.m. tomorrow. And don't forget as well, click on the uh, subscribe. Sorry, subscribe to the YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Steve Chess. S-T-E-V-E-C-H-E-S. Um, for YouTube content on there's lots of sim varieties a bit lacking at the moment but we'll be getting back into that soon so I'm going to end the stream there and back in about three or four minutes um, with some uh, tabletop simulator uh, we'll see you then <laughs> Thank you.